Engineering is all about applying uh, maths and physics to problems in the real world. To develop solutions that help people to live a better quality of life in the future. Engineering is about creativity, it's about innovation, it's about design. The range of engineering disciplines available in UCD is exceptionally broad. It is the largest engineering school on the island. The breadth and depth of expertise that we have that's available to students is the greatest. And one of the big advantages here is that there's a lot of very active research ongoing in engineering, so it means that the lecturers who are teaching you are working actively themselves in research and have their own research groups. In most of our modules there's a very strong lab or hands-on component and typically it's maybe about 60% in lectures and then maybe 40% in labs. In some of our first year modules students work together in teams to plan the project, build it and test it. Students who come into UCD in engineering in their very first year they study a course that I teach to them, it's on mechanics. But mechanics relates to topics such as dynamics, friction, equilibrium of forces. In addition to lectures, we also have lots of laboratory activities and group assignments. So for example, this year we had a lot of students working on assignments where they had to compete in a competition that we refer to as the fastest leg alive race. It's a very positive way of learning other than the, the traditional dry way of getting a load of lectures. The first year curriculum does involve significant study of mathematics and the sciences and in particular we're focusing on developing design skills but students also have an opportunity to sample some of the specialisation. I teach the module Electro Electronic and Electrical Engineering to first years. It's all about transmitting and interpreting information, for example your mobile phone or your MP3 player or your laptop that you have in your bag um, or also the internet. And then students may specialise in different areas. Three of the main areas that we have here are communications, uh, energy and also biomedical engineering. And there's a significant contribution to be made by biomedical engineers in providing the medical community with practical solutions. Biomedical engineering is all about taking engineering principles and applying them to the human body and to medicine. So for example with our own research group in electronic engineering we're looking at the area of muscle fatigue. So they're using engineering to analyse signals from the muscles and to try to understand the changes that take place in the muscle when we experience muscle fatigue. Also you can use engineering then to develop different technologies to interface with the human body or to replace function that's been lost. So for example you can develop technologies such as uh, prosthetic limbs. So the human body is an engineering system and it's very, very complex. The career paths for engineers are particularly rich. There's a very wide diversity of options that students would have upon graduation. Our experience of graduates in the past shows that many move into managerial and leadership roles after five to ten years of work in the technical arena. An engineering degree is tough and challenging but it's also very stimulating. One of the interesting things I think about engineering is that you do have the opportunity to tackle some of these very, very big challenges that we are facing globally. Problems in medicine, challenges that we have in energy, where is our energy going to come from? And also challenges in communications. And there's going to be even more exciting challenges and more exciting problems that students who are coming into engineering today are going to be facing over the next couple of decades. They'll be working on problems that we probably can't even uh, think about or can't even imagine at the moment.